spirit animals running loose. And I am sure by the time we get out of here, we're going to have a couple of close animal encounters. So keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to describe the animals to you. I'll also bring out a few points of interest. Number one, you feel that little bouncing action. You see we installed the Texas style cattle crossing. That allows us to leave the gates open to the safari so we go in and out all day. But yet it does keep the animals on the inside. Well, if you look ahead of us here, folks, I'm sure we're going to get a camel invasion. Whether it happens on the way in or on the way out of the safari, but it's definitely going to happen. If you're sitting on the outside rows, I will warn you, watch these camels. They do like hair and hats now, so be prepared here. We are a little concerned about the hair. Hats, well, we sell new ones in the souvenir shop on the way out. Oh, yeah. oh look at this. Hey, on the left-hand side, see this antelope that's real close to us? That's a Neil guy, an Indian antelope, also known for its racing stripes. Also on the left, all the big birds that you see in here are ostrich. Largest of all, the flightless birds. And what's that camel? That's a bad camel right there. You never know where she's going to do. Here, here she comes. Now watch her. She'll grab your shirt right there. I hope you don't like that shirt. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is, is he with you, ma'am? <laughs> he is. Wow, he seems pretty fond of that female camel right there to me. But, uh, well, anyway, <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, this is only one of them camels. It's going to get a whole lot worse than this. Now, I will tell you here. This one here has moved right in. She's going to check out this guy on the back corner here. But anyway, those big birds that you were taking a look at, eight foot tall, 350 pounds on that flightless bird. See this little bird here on the left hand side? That's kind of neat. That bird was hatched a year ago in August, right out here, so it's one year old right now. Five and a half feet tall and over 180 pounds already. Uh oh. Comes in. Now this one here is not so friendly now. But while well, she's coming along here, hey, you can admire the lips on these camels. If you'd like a camel kiss, all you gotta do is just hold your cheek right out by the tram and she'll lay one right on you. Don't ignore this camel, sir. This is the one right here now. Well, she's definitely moving in here now. If anybody wanted a camel kiss, this is a good opportunity. She's came right in right up close here. Hey, oh boy, look at this on the right hand side over here. Hold up a second, driver, let these folks get to see these pop belly pigs. You folks on the left, if you'd like to stand up while we're parked here. You get to see all the little miniature pop belly pigs out here on safari. These, uh, actually, there's two different litters you're looking at here. Miss Piggy had three, and then her sister had eight, and I believe they're all up here on the top side today. Look at this one over on the right-hand side over here real quick. Getting a little nursing right there while Mom's walking. See that one from behind? Yeah, that one's sneaking a little lunch right there as they're walking along. Little miniature pop belly pigs right out here on the side. Safari now. Hey, another camel coming in on the right hand side. See this little camel coming in over here? Again, born a year ago, right now, out here on Safari. Weighs 105 pounds when it was born, weighs 500 pounds at a year old. Dromedary camels making a move here. <laughs> Sir, do you have some camel lineage in your background somewhere? Or, uh, God almighty. Alrighty, we're all sitting here. Well, this is not the, by far the end of our camel invasion. It's going to get worse than this, I'll tell you that now. Hey, we're actually going to bounce across the set of cattle crossings here. That's going to leave these camels behind for a while here today. But I will tell you, we're heading into dangerous territory up ahead of us up here. You folks on the right-hand side, watch this big camel right here. If he decides to follow us, he's going to slobber all over somebody. Watch him. Hopefully he stays right where he is. And it looks like he's going to. He's got his eyes fixed on something back there. Hey, over near the water tub, see the water buffalo right over there? Cape water buffalo taking a look at us there on the right-hand side. Well, the big camel that we follow back there, that's a Bactrian camel. The one on the left-hand side, of course, is a Bactrian. The two hump camels have arrived here. Hey, check it out on the right-hand side. See the gray bird? And look on the ground. You see all the baby Rias right there. They were hatched out here just a week ago. Hatched on safari. Baby Rias. Well, oh, we got some tar. Oh, well, we got a drama there. Our back to camel going to come in behind us here. This is old Sally right here, the two hump camel, the one you read about right here. 
Oh, Sally, the one nice thing about a Bactrian camel, I've never seen one bite. Never seen a Bactrian camel bite at all. I've seen them spit. They do spit something terrible. They are unbelievable. They just don't like something, and all of a sudden they spit on you just like that. So, we're going to see who's going to get spit on on this ride right here. Well, you see these uh, hey, on the left-hand side. Largest horn cattle in the world, the Watusi right here. Watusi cattle, you have bull that's laying down. Oh, less than two years old. Look at the horn bases he's got already. Largest horn cattle in the world. I'm sure a lot of you folks have internet at home. When you get, like a camel coming in, oh boy, I thought she would really come up through there and grab somebody. Uh-oh, this is like cowboys and Indians. She's circling the tram, getting ready to come in here and grab somebody. Let's see who it's going to be. Here she comes now. Oh, it's going to grab somebody and on the right hand side. No, she's going to pull right back in. She just had a little spurt of energy there, that's all. Hey, uh, I started to tell you, a lot of you folks have internet, I'm sure. When you get home, just for the heck of it, if you like or are interested in horses, look up Tarpan. Tarpans is what you're looking at right here. They are the first original wild horse ever brought into the United States was a tarpan. They darn near come extinct in the 1950s until the Polish government decided to revive them. We just got this trio of tarpans less than a week ago, so we're proud to have a breeding trio of tarpans. Hey, all the birds that you see coming, all Rhea. Check it out on the ground. On the right and the left, you'll see some Rhea eggs right here on the ground. There they are on the left and the right, the Rhea eggs. That's the same size egg that all them little birds popped out of up there about a week ago, the Rhea. Over on the far right hand side, if you look behind that big pine tree, you're going to see two more birds sitting over there. Those birds are both sitting on nests of eggs. One sitting on nine eggs, the other one's sitting on eleven eggs, right out here on safari now. Well, hold up a second, driver. We've got antelope here on both sides of the road. There's a one on the right hand side. That's a scimitar horned oryx over there. There's another one over here on the left hand side. But I was hoping, I was hoping to be able to get this Elon to come up here and talk to see us. This other big brown antelope over here is an Elon. Largest of all, the African antelope are the Elon. That cow right there weighs about 700 pounds. The males will weigh close to a half a ton right there. Giant Elon, I wish she'd come up here. All these other creatures who came running in are black-bellied Barbado from the island of Barbados here. Got seven females, and we've had several babies born right out here on safari. So, well, black-bellied Barbado. All righty, let's make a run, driver. Look at this potbelly pig. Oh, there's one baby potbelly over here on the left hand side. This potbelly pig coming to us. She is pregnant, ready to have babies, and she's so pregnant she can hardly walk right there now. Her old belly's dragging right on the ground as she walks out through the safari here. And she's got one of the babies with her from the top side up there. That's not her baby here. Coming up on the right hand side, you're going to get to see one of the most pregnant potbelly pigs you've ever seen. This one on the right hand side with a white strip in her face, her belly's dragging right on the ground as she walks out through here. It was actually eight years ago, Memorial Day weekend, when we bought the first two pigs to put out here on the safari. Me and they were going to spend the rest of their lives together. We thought they should be united. So we had a little ceremony for those two pigs, and they were married right here in Animal Land. Hey, we built them that little cabin right over on the right-hand side, the home of old Boss Hog and Miss Piggy. Well, check it out on the ground here. You're going to see the largest eggs in the world on the ground. They are African blue neck ostrich eggs. Right now, those eggs are weighing about three and a half to four pounds a piece. Well, last year out of 17 eggs, we only had seven baby birds. This year, I believe we got 21 eggs right now, and they're still laying every day. So hopefully, they're going to choose to sit on some of these eggs and incubate them for us. And if they do, it'll be 52 days, and we're going to have baby birds. It's amazing when an ostrich pops out of one of these shells, but they're close to two foot tall as soon as they have.